Hey everyone, I was not planning on doing a video today or any time in, in the next week or so before Christmas, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna turn on the camera and just show you what I'm making for dinner. Um, I need to cook something because there's not much of anything in the refrigerator and I've been wanting to make some kind of chili and I've always done the standard chili and I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I have a few other recipes like um, butternut squash chili and a pumpkin black bean chili. We'll see what happens. I had half of a butternut squash in the fridge drawer. I thought I, I should use that up. I have some sweet potatoes. Jeff will love it. He likes that kind of stuff. The girls are both working tonight, so it doesn't really matter, um, you know, if they're here or not to eat. So I'm gonna get started. While I'm making this soup, I thought I would just share with you uh, what's coming up in my YouTube journey. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be annoying me looking down while I cut up my sweet potatoes. I started YouTube about a year ago and you know I put out a few videos and I, it was just quite the learning process. And I did have some outside help, but not a whole lot. It just took so long to put a video together and I was just getting really frustrated. My one friend told me, she's like, you, you just need to step away from it. So as much as I didn't want to hear that, I, I agreed and I, that's what I did. But then I was able to um, make a few videos like for some nieces that graduated, you know, over the summer, well, like May and June, and then like some mission trips that we did, and like one was out of state and one was um, local here with our church. I, I made some videos for those trips and then for um, Pastor Appreciation Month. And so anyway, through that, I realized just how much I enjoyed putting these videos together. And I really didn't want to give it up. So uh, recently, I've well, I've gotten back into just putting out like five, you know, less than ten minute videos, and <clears throat> I've just been, you know, trying to decide how I want to move forward with it. Well, the other night when I was awake at like I don't know four in the morning or something, I was laying there, and usually I use that time to pray and just think about things and I was thinking of like interviewing people and like it just I've had different thoughts over the over this past year and just you know and so I finally like it just like all came all made sense you know it came together in my head um, okay little backstory about I took piano lessons as a child uh, when I was from 8 to 16 and I stopped playing when I was 16, I just was tired of practicing and just, you know, I was into, I don't know, I think I was playing, playing volleyball at the time or whatever and just, anyway, I didn't want to practice. And so I, I took like a 30 year break. <laughs> yes, I said 30 years. Um, and I, you know, I even had the piano in my home all this time, the, the piano that I grew up practicing on. Well, so I grew up in a church where we, you know, sang hymns, and then my in my adult years, I went to churches, you know, a couple different churches where we sang more contemporary music, uh, Christian music, which I really enjoyed, you know, that music as well. But here I am, the past two and a half years, we started attending a small church during April 2020 when they had outdoor services. And they, at this small church, they sing mostly hymns. And at the time, they, their pianist had left. She was not able to, to play. And so they were lacking a pianist. They did have an organist, but he was wanting to um, fade out. And so anyway, like this desire to play again, just kind of like resurrected in me. So. I started practicing and I'm now, I mean, I just was playing here and there in church and now I'm accompanying most every week. So 
I still have a ways to go. I've been taking piano lessons for the past few months and that's been helping and but it's just it's just really neat how it has come full circle the hymns in my life and just I've really come to appreciate them more now. My idea is interview people, my you know, friends old and new who can share a testimony of how a hymn has impacted their life. And then at the end of the video they will perform it. So by either playing the piano or singing or or both or playing another instrument. So that is my new path I'm taking with YouTube. I think I'm going to have a whole separate channel for that. Someone recommended that, a friend of mine, actually the friend that I'm going to be interviewing first next week. I'm um, just getting things together here, getting ready for that. So I'm really excited. This is a longtime friend I've, since I've been was five years old and he's very musical and you'll have to stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just so excited and I hope you will come along. I hope you'll follow and just be encouraged by just the great hymns of the faith and just other people's testimonies and how it has impacted their life. I know we can all be encouraged. There's just so much heavy, heartbreaking stuff going on in this world and I'm just hoping to bring some light and encouragement into it. So I really am excited about this and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I have my butternut squash and sweet potato all cut up. I was gonna cut up onion and, and pepper, but I don't even have to cut it up because I have it already frozen. It's such a great time saver when you're, you wanna cook a nutritious meal and you don't have a, as much time as you'd like. This is a great way. I, I freeze it in different things, so you never know. But um, these are my onions. I have peppers here chopped up. This should come together, you know, a lot quicker now that all my veggies are chopped up. And I'll show you the rest. All right, I'm heating up my pan, my pot here, adding some grapeseed oil to saute my onion and peppers. I don't think I'm gonna use the tomatoes that I had in the freezer. I had a can that I opened up like a few days ago to make something and they're still in the fridge. So I wanna use those up before they go bad. Let's make sure they're not bad. Oh good, they're okay. Now I think these might be, oh, these are Italian seasoned. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I wanna use those. I think I'm gonna use them anyway. How does my hair look? I went for a walk and had a hat on. It's the life of thin hair. So that's just what you have to look at, sorry. All right, here's my onion, my blob of frozen onion. I'm gonna just, actually, I'm actually gonna put this in the microwave here for on defrost for a couple minutes. So we'll get that started. I'm not using all this pepper. I'm just break a chunk off. We'll add that to the pot. I feel like I'm like right in your face. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of bold today. I need my chicken broth. Bring out my chili powder and cumin. I'm gonna throw the green peppers in here with my onion. need to do. I need a new hairdo, huh? Here we go. Hmm? All right, I think this is ready. This is sauteed enough that we're going to start adding. Now this better not mess it up, but adding my Sweet potato and butternut squash. Add the black beans. Actually, I shouldn't have probably added those right now. And then we need our liquid to help it cook. If I can get it open. Oh my word, I can't even get it open. There we go. I'm not gonna add the pinto beans in right now. I'm gonna let this cook, let the, the hard veggies cook. 
and then we can add our seasonings and the other beans when the butternut squash and the sweet potatoes are softer so stay tuned if you have not subscribed to my channel i would love that if you did and hit that bell and that'll let you know when i post new videos let me know send me a comment um, just say hello you know i'd love to know who's watching um, so i hope to be able to continue this channel seasons with steph you know with cooking and homemaking stuff as well as my new venture and i have a new name for that i'm not sure i'm ready to to share that but i'll just hold off in case i <laughs> don't want to jump the gun so all right so i'm going to try the soup i'm going to add some sour cream and some cheese Oh, it's really good when you mix the sour cream in there with that broth on oh my that chicken broth so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video